Welcome to Speed Round Sunday on the Parenting Roundabout podcast, where we share a mini episode from our past for your weekend listening pleasure. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new episode. The other day I was in the grocery store and I ran into my neighbor and we happened to be standing in the like natural food (laughs) corner and Uh she was pointing out this special milk that she likes and I'm like, is it, is it almond milk? Is it? soy milk. She's like, no, it's made from pea protein. And I love it. And I use it for this and I use it for that. And I was like, okay. Okay. was never not something I've ever tried. Um, So just (laughs) try getting your kids to drink that people. (laughs) (laughs) So just wondering if you have, I think she, she just avoids dairy. um, And I'm wondering if you have dietary restrictions like that. And it seems like you know, these days it's a lot easier to find alternatives yeah. to yeah. Mm-hmm. stuff that we used to have a really hard time dealing with. How about you, Nicole? Well, nothing official. As you know, I don't like vegetables. So, um, <laughs> vegetable allergy. I can't really say I have a veg- vegetable allergy or intolerance, but, um, I, yeah, I'm pretty much, you know, open to most foods. I do have a mild, Oral allergy to fruits, certain Ooh. fruits. So yes. fruits and vegetables are off the list for you then. <laughs> Just give me I see. mean carbs. Are you five years old? <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, have never grown out of that. Um, <laughs> so those, but I'll pretty much eat. So. I do have, I have another reason. neighbor, not the one that I just mentioned, but an, another one who got a, an allergy to certain fruits like mm-hmm. like in yeah. his 50s or something like it it yeah. came you know later yeah. in life like where he can't eat stone fruits yeah yeah, um, yeah it's um i just it's, it's only developed within the last probably five six years and mm-hmm. right away like my my uh, throat will tighten up i'll Ooh. be sneezing Ooh, my eyes scary. will water yeah, it's it's actually it's I shouldn't say it's mild because it does like th- and things I can't figure out exactly which type of fruit, but bananas, um, citrus fruits, watermelon, like none of them really seem related. But mm. yeah, that's what it is. So don't serve me fruit. Yeah, we're gonna just <laughs> <laughs> stick with meat and carbs as yeah. <laughs> <laughs> junk food there right. you go what about you Terry? no proteins what about you, at all Terry? yeah i'm you know i have on and off been on a gluten-free diet not because i'm diagnosed with anything but because i just feel better when i eat less bread and and uh less gluten i think my mom had she lived in a different time would have been diagnosed with celiac disease because she had she had stomach problems her whole life and a long history of going to doctors who just told her it was all in her head. Mm. And when I read about people who have problems with gluten, a lot of it reminds me of her and a lot of the way they're treated medically or were for a number of years reminds me of her. So I kind of feel like based on that, I might have some minor version of it, but really, you know, I just feel better and I like the stuff and I, you know, you get a lot of this, oh, today everybody's got something, it's all fake, they're all just putting on airs and all of this stuff. And I really resent that because I'm pretty sure not everybody who drinks Diet Coke is diabetic. And <laughs> some of them, based on what they're drinking the Diet Coke with, aren't on a diet either. It's just kind of been accepted that if you don't want the sugar, here's this alternative. Everybody can have it. And whenever, you know, when it's open to the wider public and people like it, then it's more available for people who need it too. And I think that's a great thing. So, um, you know, I'm excited to see all the different kinds of foods they have at the, at the, uh, gluten-free expo I'm going to be going to. It's just cool to see there's all these options now and they're delicious for anybody. And the fact that they're available means people who need them have them. So from time to time, I do try to just, you know, this is why I eat like rice cakes with butter instead of bread for lunch. It's because I want to, you know, limit my bread. Although I love bread so much. So it's really very, very hard. But I would say that's my main restriction is that I try to, you know, have less bread than I might want just to, because I feel better. Right. My body feels better. Right. How about you, mm-hmm. Catherine? Do you have any restrictions? No, I really don't. You know, I mean, I... I try to just eat 
as many fruits and vegetables as I can. You know, like I have like this sort of mental tally in my head of the number that I've had that day. And I try to, to <laughs> make sure it's high enough. Wow. Uh, but that doesn't stop me <laughs> from eating a lot of other things that I probably shouldn't eat. So, yeah. so yeah, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good about, but you know, like you said, Terry, you know, I'll shop in the sort of natural food or allergy related um, uh-huh. section of the store just because sometimes those things taste better. So mm-hmm. me too. And- Seriously, you guys, the feel good foods, egg rolls, if you happen upon <laughs> them somewhere, they're awesome. Um, but yeah, you know, a lot of, I mean, I remember when I went to the expo the last time, a lot of the snacks I brought home, I had to fight my family off of them. Oh, it's right. like, no, mine, <laughs> this <Right>. is mom's, <laughs> but they, they, they tasted great right. for everybody. Oh. So yeah, so there you go. Not dietary restrictions, dietary <laughs> preferences, and, preferences and suggestions. <laughs> and happiness. Except don't, that don't there are try options. to kill Nicole with a banana. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Keep that fruit away. You bring the apples on the road trip, Catherine. Oh, not, only, this is the problem. not only is it unseemly, but potentially hazardous. <laughs>